food buffs, elixirs and perfumes. In this video, I'm gonna be covering which one of those you gotta be using for each spot individually. Uh, going by uh, two big categories, which uh, is gonna be first of all, if uh, there's a cap, if there's no cap, and then I'm gonna split it into each monster type, which is gonna be uh, Camosylvia, Demi-Human, Human, and Animal. As you may know, each zone in black desert has a cap now how do you see this cap and what does it even mean let's first go on to um monster zone info so if you press escape monster zone info you type it right here and there you have it now once you get into this window specifically you will notice there's a lot of shit about each monster zone in particular now you can choose whichever monster zone you want it doesn't really matter uh but one thing you want to do for sure is once you click on a monster zone so right now we have akman for example it's literally the first option on all uh you want to go to this button right here where it says view total stats just click on it and this is what we need to look at so here it says 600 restricted Similar to like uh, previous grind videos, I'm just gonna be covering strictly what buffs you should use and then I'm gonna be referencing this video and every other video that's gonna be coming because the info is gonna be uh, very in-depth in this video and going in-depth in every single video is kind of unnecessary. So I'm just gonna go in depth here, I'm gonna explain everything and then from here on every grind spot video will just tell you exactly what you need to know and that's it. Uh, so first of all here it says uh, 600 restricted, so once we press the stats, uh, view total stats button, you're gonna be noticing this number right here, in this case 600 restricted, it says that uh, basically from 600 uh, you will deal less damage as you're going into the spot. Now, as far as I'm concerned, every single spot in the game has restriction after a certain uh, amount of AP. So in my case, I'm 823, so I'm way past this cap, right? Now, what's important is if you read this little text here, it says that after 600, only 70% of exceeded AP will be applied, meaning that uh, if you notice 823 means that I have 223 more AP than the cap, right? That means that out of the 223 AP that I have more than the cap, only 70% will be applied as damage when you're fighting mobs in this area. So that means that out of 223, I will be getting only about like uh, 150 AP rather than 223. It's, it's, it's somewhere around 150, 160. Um, so that means uh, that uh, you're still getting a good chunk of the AP and there's no 100% uh, uh, spot. Like every single spot is either 70% uh, after a certain point or it's less so you're gonna have either like you know 70 percent here if we go at alter imps it's gonna be five percent if you notice after 753 you're gonna have five percent so that means that out out of my uh, uh let's say uh 70 points of ap that i have over the cap i will only get something like three ap extra out of it which means like pretty much nothing my extra ap means nothing in this spot right now so again different spots will have different percentages you just need to go to each spot individually wherever you're gonna grind so the dekia version of akman temple is still 70 percent even though the restriction starts at 1000 ap which you can notice that right now without any buffs and anything i'm not even close like it's almost 200 ap points um behind it so 
right here it means that i am not reaching the cap so i don't even have to worry about the restriction right while here on the normal akman spot i'm past the cap so i'm thinking a little bit of that about that restriction so now that we know what the ap caps are and like how the restriction works uh we can start thinking about like how do we buff for each spot individually and i'm gonna like separate them like i said so like we have capped or not capped what does that mean capped means you are past 600 points that's what capped means uncapped it means you aren't even close to the restriction so like here uh at dekia akman i'm not even close to 1000 points right now which means it's uncapped for me uh then we also take into the consideration the percentage so while i am past 600 uh 70 percent is still very good while if we go at alter imps five percent is uh uncapped but it's hard capped at five percent so when i'm when i'm generally speaking about like uh, hard cap spots i'm thinking about like most lvs spots because if you, you can see biragi has the same as altarim 753 with five percent bloody monastery has a higher uh, restriction but it's still five percent so you need to take that into consideration so now if you're not capped and you're not even close so say your ap is a pretty low you just started playing the game and you're thinking to go to uh, akman and fight and you, it says right here that you're you got like 400 maybe let's say four four five hundred the uh, ap so you're under 600 well in this case let's uh let's take a look real quick we got the frenzy elixir now frenzy elixir combined with simple cron meal are gonna give you the highest value at this point because you are not reaching the the cap for the spot so the restriction is not being applied right so that means you're getting fully all of the ap buffs from those specific uh, food and elixir buffs right meaning that if you're at 500 and you need to reach 600 you're gonna get 30 monster ap from the simple cron meal as you can see here then from the frenzy draught you're gonna get another 30 and obviously from uh, the perfume if you have a perfume as well and you want to use it you're gonna get another 20 ap which will net you pretty close to like 60 no it's sorry it's 80 ap right total 60 from the two plus 20 is gonna be 80 so that means you are now either very close or together with like say uh you have a vel's heart or maybe you have anything else like a destruction spirit stone uh you are probably reaching that 600 cap right so you get full value from all of those buffs which makes those buffs together so let me just uh put them here together so you can see them better like all of those three buffs right here are gonna give you the highest possible value as long as you don't reach that 600 so again let's go back here we are looking at Akman, we pressed the total stats button and it says 600 restricted. This is your succession AP, this is your awakening AP. So first one succession, second one awakening. If either of those numbers are lower than the restricted number by more than 80, you will want to use those three buffs they're literally your best buffs uh now one thing to take into consideration is uh first of all uh perfume of courage is super expensive right now uh perfume of courage is like 20 million a piece so you're gonna use 60 mil to use three of those at the same time so in that case if you don't want to spend that much money and you're not sure you're even making that money back 
you might want to switch out perfume of courage with something like uh spirit perfume which is like if you use the bracing spirit perfume which gives you five extra monster damage uh and this one also gives you a full crit so if you're not reaching full crit even though you should um you will uh, make use of it because you get two crit from the simple cron uh even if you had no crit on this this one just um just gives you like full crit so this combo is good if you don't want to spend on the perfume of courage or you don't have any free ones like laying around 60 mil just to buff up is probably not gonna be worth it at that point in time so i think it's best to use bracing spirit perfume but again the best combo is with uh, the perfume of courage so like if for you this one is cheap or you have them laying around this is the best you got now Another thing to think about is uh, first, like Frenzy Draught, if it it might be scarce, okay? Like on EU right now, they're sold out. The only way for you to make those is just go and Sakrya, grind for the Abyssal Essence, and as you can see, you can actually craft it right here. It says on the uh, item description what you need. Uh, most of those things you can actually buy straight off from the market. Uh, the Abyssal Essence you might have to go grind or you can check and see if your the marketplace has any of them. Uh, I believe on EU there's none, there's a pre-order on them. But you can craft the, the Frenzy Draught and uh, basically this is kind of your only option. Now, obviously if you don't have a Frenzy Draught um, and you can't even craft it, you also got the option of like you switch it out with something like say uh, Giant's Draught which is uh, also pretty good. Uh, another good one which uh, you could use, it's like a lesser version, is uh, Beast Draught, like let me show you. So like Beast Draught is also a great variant of it, it gives you a little bit more uh, monster AP. Um, so like a total with monster AP you're gonna have more from this, but it's less damage because of the extra special attack on the giant's draw. But you might want to use beast draw if you're dying. So like if the mobs are killing you, I believe you get a better value off of this one because it gives you a little bit of recovery on hit, but it also does like minus 10% monster damage, uh, damage from monsters, sorry. So basically you need to think if you're dying in your spot and uh shit you might want to use this one instead they're available on the market giant's draught is also available on the market if you're not dying then your best uh bet if you can get frenzy is to use giant's draught and uh this is basically how it looks now if you are gonna be uh grinding in a spot and you're not capped but in that spot specifically the mobs are human mobs then this changes to uh let me just rearrange everything here this will change to this combo so with humans you want to use this you got the simple cron meal perfume of courage you can't get frenzy draught then you use uh, elixir of indignation an elixir of indignation will be better in a human spot. However, be wary that elixir of indignation um, kind of like reduces your uh, damage reduction and evasion and shit. So you might be a little bit more vulnerable. So again, just have that in mind. But this one is the best for human spots. If you can't get a frenzy draught, and you are below the cap okay now while those are your options uh obviously uh you it's the same thing for elixir of deep sea elixir of deep sea is really good it's probably the best elixir you can get however uh this one is also very expensive as you can see it's like it says 22 million it's probably like 25 million if you're trying to buy it off the market right now uh three of them would go get you up towards like 75 million 
for three of them per hour so it's really expensive i don't think at this point if you're under those caps you will make value of it so that's why i'm just disconsidering this one pretty much complete like some some of you might have event perfume of courage i have like a hundred of them so you can use those but uh i don't think we ever got a elixir of DC, uh, deep sea as event items so might as well just sell them or keep them for like uh, later on when you're gonna grind harder spots which actually does make a difference in silver when you use them so that's it for the like the human spots uh if it's not human again this is gonna be like uh your budget version so you got simple cron uh bracing spirit perfume and giant's draught is the budget version courage is too expensive friends you might not be able to get your hands on unless you uh, grind a lot of uh Sikrai or prothy or something now let's talk if you get past the cap but it's 70 percent okay so let's go back to monster zone info you're past 600 points with your succession or awakening ap and now you're restricted restricted to 70 percent well in this case everything i said earlier is still available and it still works kind of the same okay so if you're 70 percent in a spot and you're past the like, like i'm here in akman i'm past 600 by 223 points i'm awakening lan so i'm calculating 823 minus 600 it's 223 over the cap since it's 70 percent i'm still getting a shit ton of that ap i'm still gonna use the same buffs because the other buffs just give you less extra damage like ex less extra damage points per se right like if you look at exquisite crown meal it gives you 8 ap 8 ap is like 22 less than the simple crown meal so basically you're not getting a lot of value from that and uh, the other stats might barely get it close enough but it won't get it over the value of the simple cron meal at this point so for 70 percent again ideally you would still want to use this beautiful ideal combo of simple cron meal perfume of courage and frenzy draught or you can re uh, like exchange the perfume of courage with elixir of the deep sea and this is like the best in slot you can get simple cron deep sea frenzy drop however again i will uh explain for this as well that uh sometimes you just won't be able to get your hands on frenzy so giant's drop is your next best bet if it's a human spot and you're 70 percent elixir of indignation is still the best for human spots because it gives 25 extra human damage and um spirit perfume is really good because it's very cheap and uh, you can absolutely get it off of the market now you don't have to get the bracing one you can get the base one it's just gonna miss five monster ap you just need to figure out if that five monster ap helps or not uh in this case if you can just get it but i don't think it's really worth uh three mil to get just five monster ap so unless you have those bracing spirit perfumes uh hanging around i think it's just best to get the base one for a lot cheaper and it's pretty much kind of the same shit now because it's 70 percent you're still getting 70 percent off of 30 you're getting 70 percent off of 30 here as well uh so that's that's still something like i don't know i i I'm, i might be mathing this wrong but I believe it's somewhere around like 22, 23 points or something of AP instead of 30. Which is still a lot more than the alternatives, right? Exquisite Crown Meal, 70% out of 8 is gonna be 6 points or something, I believe. I don't even know, maybe 5.5, uh, I don't know. Uh, and then 
it's the same for uh giant straw 70 percent is gonna be like seven right so um it's you, the number is just smaller on those two um so again you're gonna need the uh, frenzy's drought for best in slot and you're gonna use giant only if you just can't get your hands on frenzy um it's just so much better now it, we got the 70 percent out of the way and now it's gonna get a little bit more interesting so there are spots where the restriction is less than 70 percent now let's check and see what are we gonna do in those spots and here's where the monster type also changes the situation a little bit so if we're gonna go here and we're gonna check uh say uh so we want to check i don't know let's say alter rims at alter rims it's five percent restricted now in my opinion uh pretty much like 50 percent 30 percent and five percent kind of fall in the same category so you can just consider everything less than 70 to be in the same bracket kind of thing i don't think there's a lot of like 50 percent. i think there's only one spot that has 50 percent uh if if i'm not wrong i think it's waragon's nest so i don't even think anybody's like grinding there unironically and uh 30 there's a few spots with 30 percent and uh all of the elvia spots are five percent so if there's an elvia spot you can already uh guess that it's gonna be five percent and we can just check it like right here so altarims five percent biragi five percent bloody monastery five percent see it, i don't have to go through the whole list but it's just like quint is the same shit five percent it's just the the point where you get restricted that's the only one that de defers so from altarim 753 while in quint hill is 920 let's uh take uh, everything into consideration so if it's five only five percent of exceeded ap will be applied if it's only 30 percent of exceeded AP will be uh, ap will be applied if it's 50 percent which is like I, I said just about one or two spots at best then you have a completely different uh situation so like since i'm past the ap at alter imps and right now i'm not even buffed okay like this is my base stats if i buff up it's gonna go up to like 900 something well in this situation if i'm gonna use simple cron meal with frenzy draught and like uh, let's say perfume of courage like this right this is not gonna help me at all because i'm gonna get 80 ap points and only five percent of them count so five percent of 80 is like what four maybe 3.5 i don't even know so like you get only 3.5 ap extra which is like almost nothing so then you're just gonna depend on every other uh stat on the buff which uh if you look at simple cron meal without the monster ap it's kind of useless like it, it does give you like uh, i don't know a little bit of like uh, you get a, like some crit hit which you get on the other buffs as well some uh, down attack damage which uh, for a lot of classes is not that great as far as i'm concerned most classes don't use down attack damage so i don't know if it's even um any good and yeah the damage from monsters is uh, okay it's here and there i don't know Basically, there's a whole bunch of nothing on this list once you cut the monster AP. Uh, it goes the same with the Perfume of Courage. There's a, a whole bunch of nothing here as well if you cut the AP. And uh, with Frenzy as well, it just gives you like some crit hit damage. And uh, it, the recovery is good and like accuracy is great and see here and there. But without the AP, there's like better alternatives, right? So once you're five or thirty percent capped um you want to change this so first 
we're gonna take the simple cron meal away and we're gonna be using exquisite cron meal then we're gonna be uh switching perfume of courage uh again this time perfume of courage is gonna be absolutely pointless if it's five or thirty percent uh restriction then you want to use elixir of the deep sea as the best in slot uh and the reason be uh, the reason for this is basically that um you get all of those special attack bonus damage it's uh 10 percent for each so it's very similar to like when it says that uh you get all like it says here on the giant drop extra all special attack damage 10 percent basically the giant drop does pretty much the same thing as the elixir of the deep sea in this situation so now that this one is the best in slot again you need to think about the cost of the object so like in alter imps you don't make a shit ton of money and probably this 10 extra all special attack might not net you like 75 million extra money so using three of those in one hour might be just a stupid move you might just lose money using them while in other spots say like i don't know maybe giants or something where it can make like over a billion there might be a use for it like you might actually make more than 75 mil with the extra 10 percent damage that you're gonna be dealing so you need to take that into consideration it's up to you if you want to check it out and stuff i don't really have numbers for this like elixir of the deep sea just from my experience was not worth using at orcs for example at orcs i make close to like 900 mil like 1 billion around there and uh, when i pop this it just changes by such a small margin that it might just be rng so for me it doesn't really help instead the next alternative is using the bracing spirit perfume elixir uh if you're doing the five percent and the uh, thirty percent spots for example like i said five percent is gonna be pretty much all lvs spots you don't really need the bracing one you can just get spirit perfume and it just cuts the five monster ap which is useless because just five percent of five monster ap is gonna be like what zero point something you're literally getting nothing from it and you're paying three million extra so just go to the market like here you write spirit uh perfume and there you have it the base one is literally the same without the monster ap and it's just better in lvs spots and stuff you pay 1 million instead so basically in one hour you're gonna be paying the the same amount using those as just paying for one of those so just make sure you just think about the prices and everything just pick the base version because like the five monster ap just doesn't help you in those spots like if you're gonna be uh using like uh those you're gonna have like um a different uh elixir as well from here on frenzy is no longer um needed basically it just gives you fewer things uh to think about it can still be useful like frenzy could still work if you really need the uh, I don't know some accuracy and stuff you might still need it uh th the recovery is great i guess it could still be used even like forgetting about the monster ap but it's really situational you really have to think about what you're getting in, in exchange now another thing is giant's draw so how does this work you are gonna be using giant's draught if you are capped and the restriction is 530 right so like five percent it's gonna be good because you get extra all special attack 10 percent uh you're gonna be getting your crit up so you need five crit at all times this is really important if you press b and you go to battle stats critical hit needs to be like five at all times uh for some classes attack speed needs to be at five at all times for every class movement speed needs to be at five at all times um luck 
I don't really know if it makes much of a change, but I think most people have it at 5. I'm not sure. Um, I never had less than 5 on luck. I think it's also because they added the fairy and a lot of stuff. But before, luck used to be a lot harder to get to 5. You'd have to use a crystal or something. Now it's just 5. Basically, this is your situation if you are fighting in a demi-human spot. Like, this is gonna be your uh, short combo. Exquisite Cron Meal. Uh, Bracing Spirit per like Sorry, Spirit Perfume. Just Spirit Perfume. Giant's Draw. Like, this is your best combo for a 5% restriction uh, demi-human spot. It's the same for uh, an animal spot, and it's also the same for uh, a Kama Sylvia spot. Like, this is, this is your best easy combo. However, if it's a human spot, you will exchange Giant's Draught with Elixir of Indignation. And I'll explain now that if you are capped and you have 5 30% restriction and so on, special extra damage will count fully. So the 5% cap will not cap your extra damage to humans. Meaning that uh if we, if we think about Alter Imps right here, let me go back to Monster Zone Info, Alter Imps. I have 70 points over the restriction and it's 5%. If I use Elixir of Indignation, I get 25 uh, mo uh, human damage, right? The 25 human damage is not gonna be uh, affected by the 5% uh, um, like restriction. So basically, right now, it will be calculated as if I had... Uh, 848 AP instead and it will actually work uh, towards uh, dealing more damage to the mobs fully it's the same if you had uh, some sort of elixir that gives you extra uh, demi-human damage and it's the same for elixirs that give you extra Kama Sylvia damage okay so this is why Elixir of Indignation, if you're capped 5% or 30%, is gonna be your best bet in human spots. For example, um, I feel like uh, Kron Castle is uh, considered um, like a human spot. Let's let's look at the map real quick. So we got uh, like uh, sorry, Castle Ruins is a human spot. Uh, Bloody Monastery is a human spot. They're both 5% cap. Elixir of Indignation is the best elixir for this. Now, uh, all things considered, you also have the option, first of all, to use Kalk Elixir instead of like Spirit Perfume or anything else. Uh, but this is only if you're feeling like you're getting fucked. Like the spot is so difficult. You're getting fucked, and you're gonna use a call elixir. I never use them. I don't advise people using them, but uh, if it somehow helps you, this one gives you a good chunk of, uh, like, I don't know, it protects you quite well. Personally, I think this is uh, not a not a great option. I just felt like just explaining that this is a thing as well. I don't think people use Kalk Elixir at all. Maybe they do, I don't know. Personally, I think it's just kill before you get killed rather than just trying to tank everything. Uh, but who knows. Uh, then you also have Perfume of Insight, which is uh, also very good in just a few specific situations. I can see someone using this perhaps in Crypt if they don't have the uh, accuracy. It could help. Because, like, if you're gonna use Spirit Perfume or something, uh, once you cut the Spirit Perfume, you don't lose that much. Like, you're gonna use, uh, like, 300 HP, which might or might not matter there. Uh, and other than that, it's just some base stats that you don't really need. So, it, 
well, you don't even use 300, you use like 200, sorry, because I didn't think about like uh, this perfume of insight actually having 100 HP itself, so it's even less HP loss, but you gain a lot of accuracy and you have attack casting speed and movement speed max from this. So if you if you reach your critical hit 5, I think it's good to use this one in crypt. Um, I'm not sure if people use it. I think uh, people in Crypt use um, like Elixir rotations and stuff. So I just felt like I'll uh, mention it that this exists and it has like a lot of accuracy on it. And maybe someone needs it in some situation. But I'd, sa I'd say that mostly it's still kind of like something like this. Again, we're gonna be using the Giant's uh, Draw. Uh, Beast Draught is only gonna be used by people that can get a Frenzy Draught and are literally under the cap, like I said earlier. And here I also have a Savage Draught, which is also very specific on one thing. So, like, you're gonna use Savage Draught if you're trying to gain knowledge. Like, it's pretty much similar to, uh, like the beast's draught, except that uh, this one has combat and skill EXP, this one has knowledge. Uh, and like the thing is, savage draught is only good if you're farming knowledge. Like you're gonna use this, say if you wanna go orcs, before going to orcs, you're gonna pop this one and kill the base orcs. Get S knowledge on all of them and then switch to Elvia and use the combo, like uh, this one for example, right? So this one is, would be like your best bet after you're in Elvia. Again, um, you also can make a one hour version of the potions like I have here. In this case, I have a one hour frenzy draught. Uh, the way to do those is if you happen to have magical elixir from events or anything, you can use this in combination with two frenzy draughts in simple alchemy and you make a one hour version in one hour you normally use three frenzy drops so this will save you five million per hour by using the magical elixir in combination magical elixir is best used with frenzy because of the frenzy's price right now while with frenzy you win five million silver with uh giant's draught you will win only like 800k silver so it's really a waste of magical elixir to use it on anything else other than frenzy. Same with uh, elixir of indignation, you will win at best like 1.7 mil. It's really not worth it. So if you want to use it on anything other than a frenzy draught, just use it on something just because of convenience. Say you don't care about the silver, you're just gonna want to pop one and forget about it for an hour then you do you, but I'd say it's uh, like the value is only if you use it on a frenzy draught. Now, um, you also can improve the frenzy draught by using corrupted breath. Now, I'm gonna show you, it's gonna be simple alchemy. You put one frenzy, you put one corrupted breath, and uh, we will be getting like corrupted... Uh, something for a frenzy draught of corruption let's go now if we look at the frenzy draught of corruption it has extra five monster damage in comparison to the other one see so like this one's 35 monster damage and then this one is 30 monster damage so if you are gonna be uh, trying to reach that cap, the Corrupted version might really help. Uh, and the uh, Corrupted Breath is only like 300 mil, I believe there's a plenty of them on the market. So just uh, use those and uh, get your Frenzy up by 5 monster damage, which might help you in some certain situations, so keep this in mind. Uh, another thing you can do... You can use Corrupted All of Immortality in combination with uh, any Draught. And this makes uh, like Immortal Frenzy Draught. Which makes it so that when you die, you don't lose the buff. The buff only goes away with uh, time. So no matter how many times you die, you will still have the buff on. 
Now, Corrupted All of Immortality, again, is great to use on only buffs that are really expensive. And on in situations you really think you might die a lot. I'd say Corrupted Oil of Immortality is um, useful mostly in PvP because you will die a lot maybe. Um, I don't know, say you're, you're bad and you're trying to learn. Uh, say that uh, the, a guy is persistent and you're, you're kind of equal so you're, you're gonna die half of the time. Uh, say that... Um, you're in large scale PvP and you will surely die a lot there as well. So, this helps prevent losing the buff and having to buff again. So, it might save you a shit ton of money. Say if you pop a, 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 like a, a Frenzy, even though Frenzy is not for PvP, okay? Frenzy is PvE only. But if you're gonna pop a Frenzy and you're gonna die 10 times, you would be losing 50 up up to like 60 mil silver while if you have a corrupt doll of immortality and you combine it with it the elixir will just be like 5 million or something and um you will only need one elixir so you're gonna be saving on a lot of money like 40 million money or some shit so thought you should know about this as well now when you're gonna be uh, going for specific zones and you are capped, it's important to notice that if you're capped or not, okay? We're gonna go through this again. Um, let's see, where is the monster zone? And you are capped. I'm over 753 here. Uh, I'm uh, If I'm gonna buff up, I'm gonna be past 856 in bloody monastery now there's the insanely loved elixir rotations okay now those are awesome they're great they're perfect and they're better than everything i've shown you for elixirs only if you are going to fight in a capped spot if not it might be better or by just a little bit or it just might fall short by a little bit compared to the frenzy combo with a uh, simple cron meal so let me just show you so first of all i'm just gonna move some stuff around um those are the foods you're gonna use the, it's the only two ones um those are the perfumes that you got and here's the combination of like offensive elixirs i'm gonna go through the defensive ones as well however those are less popular and it really depends on the spot and it's really hard to get your hands on them but um first of all we need to consider so you're capped five percent or thirty percent at the spot you want to grind at you have three choices the spot you're fighting in has like human damage, demi human, or Camasylvia monsters, right? Either three of those are the only ones that matter. If it's neither, I think the previous like combos are still better. However, the elixir rotation works only in those like three categories, which is like. I believe 70% of all game so it's still it's still quite useful okay <laughs> most spots uh, fall into either category so human demi human and Kama Sylvia now on uh, on Garmoth you have an entire list of all of the spots and there there's a small icon to the left of the name of the spot if you hover your mouse over it it's gonna show you what kind of spot is it if it's human demi human camasylvia or general spot okay now once you know what your spot is you're gonna be using either one of those so i'll give you an example i'm going to bloody monastery right i know they're human i'm gonna be using uh perfect human hunt 
it's important for the elixir to be the blue one because first of all blue one lasts for five minutes longer so you only need four of those uh second of all uh it sometimes gives a higher bonus effect okay um also to notice that uh those elixirs the blue ones work in a party and if one person pops them it pops them for everybody in the party so once you pick human because you're going to bloody monastery to fight human mobs you're gonna have like a standard build here so first of all you're gonna have back attack damage this one is pretty standard uh, you're gonna have critical hit damage you'll this is literally gonna be in every single build uh, like the ones on the right here are pretty much available for every single spot with some exceptions uh, you're gonna have lethal destruction gives all special attack 2% extra uh, then you're gonna have uh, endless frenzy uh, if you mind the DP debuff because it gives you minus 8 DP you can use his cousin which is called like endless fury and it gives you ap now if you notice endless frenzy gives you 13 ap while this one says it's only five because it's a green version of it now endless frenzy and end like endless fury won't work together so you have to choose either frenzy or fury fury gives less ap but it doesn't uh debuff your dp so you have to think about that when you buy them but other than that uh, you can't use both of them at the same time now my elixir of fury is a green version why because the blue one is sold out so what am i gonna do am i just gonna use because it gives 5 ap but the the blue one gives me 8 in general well there's a way for you to actually make it blue if you have the green version available on the market, you're gonna use the three green elixirs in combination with the blue regent, which you can just uh, buy from an NPC, um, I think it's material vendor. Um, and you're just gonna use uh, simple alchemy. You're gonna put elixir of fury, for example, here in combination with the blue regent. And... Um, if we wait it out for a second we're gonna get the endless fury elixir let's see not going as planned okay bro it's it's, it's my freaking alchemy level i guess all right there we have it now i'm just gonna drag it down here so um okay so here it is elixir of endless fury 8 ap compared to 13 ap but we lose dp so you choose uh, they don't work together again and if you have a green one three of those with blue regent makes one blue now what else do we have defense nullifying damage plus 10 per critical hit okay so every time you crit it nullifies uh, the defense uh, by plus 10 I believe it's on each hit or something uh, so this one is like it really depends uh you can't you, you should use this one but if you don't want to you can just like uh avoid it i think it's uh pretty good because you should have like 100 crit so uh every single hit of yours will be a crit um it, it also has like um i think there's also another one that has a similar effect on like uh I think it's like special attack or something but like the crit one feels like more natural uh you're gonna have the recover three hp per hit because this is basically how the frenzy effect works as well it's really strong uh it's gonna heal you up every time you get hit uh, hard or something so this one is really worth it and it's in combination with uh this other one which recovers you five hp per critical hit so, and they also stack you can use both of them at the same time so look here i'm using uh, green soul reaper we have it right here recover hp plus three on attack and then elixir of strong draining and it doesn't remove it see recover five hp per critical hit so those two work together now 
those two together will keep you alive as long as you're hitting something. And then you have uh, Elixir of Strong uh, Shock. Now this one is specifically for the critical hit plus 3 because you might not reach 5 crit. So if you don't reach 5 crit, just use Strong Shock. You, you kind of have to at this point. And uh, other than that, you will want to use uh, maybe in some spots Elixir of Concentration. Again, this one is sold out. So you need to buy green ones and use it with blue regent and create a uh, like the blue version of it, which gives you 12 accuracy. Uh, basically, this one is only useful as long as you're not reaching your accuracy goals on certain spots. Say, for example, uh, you might want to use this in crypt, uh, maybe at Oluns. It really depends like how your accuracy is. Uh, go is, is like behaving in certain spots because like if you have 95 percent accuracy i feel like it's kind of pointless because you are already hitting like pretty much every single one of your spells at that point so uh it's really up to you like this one i feel like is kind of optional depending on which spot we're talking so like that's how an, uh, an offensive uh, elixir combo would go like you have the extra human damage and all of the ones uh, around here, uh, this one is just the same one as this one. So you have a total of um, like 11 offensive elixirs that you can use. And uh, obviously, uh, the ones that you might want to avoid is um, this ones, the recovery ones and um, the accuracy ones depend on the spot. Also, um, the AP ones really depend on the percentage of reduced damage. You will not use the AP ones if you're 5% capped, okay? Like, obviously, th th this is not gonna do any change if you're 5% capped. This is only gonna work in a human spot where you are not reaching the cap, or in a human spot where you are 70% uh, capped because then the AP is useless. You're gonna get 21 AP uh, with 5%. That's just gonna be like one AP or something. So that's why uh, those are also like kind of uh, non-mandatory. Those you can ignore if the cap is 5%, 30%, and you can just use them on like 70% uh, or if you're not reaching the cap. So like if you have a spot, uh, say, where you don't, um, I, I don't know, let's say like an, in Akman or something. I think Akman is like demi-human. Uh, here you have 1000 restricted with 70%. You're gonna be using those. But if you are, let's say, at a um, bloody monastery and you're past 856 uh, with 5%, they're useless. So uh, the elixir rotation will... Uh, will look something like this together with the human one if you're in a spot where you're not worried about uh, dying if you're not worried about dying those are the only worthy elixirs you should use like human one and those five like lethal assassin sharp detection lethal destruction death elixir uh brutal death elixir and uh, strong shock like, those are the only ones worth it if you're not worried about dying ever. If you're worried about dying, you're just gonna be adding up, uh, like, Grim Soul Leap Reaper, um, Elixir of Strong Draining, and uh, if you are worried about your accuracy, only then Concentration. And if you, again, if you are uh, at 70% uh, cap or, like, the cap is very high, like 1000 or 1100, like in Ulukita. Then you can use Endless uh, Frenzy and uh, Endless Fury, but I think it's kind of pointless otherwise. It's also the same thing uh, with Demi Human spots, like the rule stays the same with uh, Fierce Demi Human Hunt, and it stays the same with uh, Camasylvia monsters as well. 
same elixirs uh, you use them based on your needs if you're not gonna die you're not gonna use grim soul reaper and the strong draining if you don't need accuracy you're not gonna use concentration right uh, you need to calculate your uh, your accuracy uh, based on spot on Garmoth um, or just ask or just uh, like most spots that don't show up on Garmoth you should be reaching your accuracy if you're uh, if you have the accuracy for like 90% of the spots right because like the worst spots in the game are Olun I believe and Crypt so anything else should be awesome so yeah this is basically how you get uh like an elixir build uh you will need four of each each hour uh you can use uh the fairy skill continuous care you can put up to 20 items uh in the elixir rotation i gave you and it's like literally the only thing you have every other elixir is just kind of useless or uh very like class dependent some elixirs i've omitted are like uh the air attack down attack um, elixirs i've omitted those because my class doesn't use them um they're kind of worthless for both lan and nova as far as i'm concerned so you might want to check if your class does well with down attack air attack or uh like anything like that and uh, if it does then you can probably use them like it really it really depends like how much of a difference it makes for you because like um again wh where do we have it um is it like somewhere around here was which one was it all special oh it's uh this one so like back attack down attack air attack the back attack is great down attack and air attack uh some classes might get a great amount from them but most like the, the classes that i'm using mostly don't uh make any use of it only from back attack so that really depends if you're if you know your class does down attack and air attack a lot and it might uh, benefit from it then just add the blue elixirs that give you those bonuses and it's plus 15 percent, so that's awesome now i'm just gonna go through some defensive elixirs as well uh but like those are also pretty self-explanatory i couldn't buy them unfortunately so we'll have to go through them like this uh some of them are available but uh it was kind of pointless to get uh to them so like this one for example is uh pretty good uh corrupted armor and then we also have um like th this one gives you some good damage reduction but it reduces your ap as well so if it, if it's something that uh, reduces your ap you want to make sure that um you are already past the cap or something so that it doesn't really affect you much uh obviously let's see all evasion i think it helps only if you have like an evasion class and you're already like pretty high on evasion I'm not sure if it's really a good stat for pv either so I'd say this is just like situational. You should know uh, whether your it works in your situation or not. Um, then the Thorn Defense Elixir also works as well, but um, like this one is uh, just another version of the Corrupted Armor, but without the um, the AP uh, detriment, right? So this could work. It's just like this one is a lot stronger though. Like it's it gives you more resistance while this one gives you less. But um it also gives you like uh, some extra damage thing because it debuffs the HP of the enemy. Now you are gonna use strong life. Strong life gives you HP, it's self-explanatory. More HP the harder you die. Um so the the more you can stack hp the better uh so you're gonna pop one of those you're gonna pop uh a steel defense for sure uh you're also gonna like obviously this one gives you this uh debuff but if you if you use thorn defense you don't need it anymore um 
and then you have like debuff resistance against monsters you can also use this one uh you can also use the remarkable will which, which reduces the damage from monsters by 10 percent and uh i believe like that's pretty much it like the, the hp recovery ones i think are pretty useless i wouldn't really use them maybe like mp re uh, mp recovery might work for some classes that suck with mp but there's not a lot of elixirs here so like uh, you let, let's go through it again you might want to use corrupted armor you might want to use a uh, strong life steel uh defense this is three of them um you might also want to use uh, sharp resistance and the remarkable will that's pretty much about it um you can also use uh thorn defense elixir as well so like that will make a total of six a total of 17 elixirs if you have uh the fairy buff like um continuous care like five you can use 20 items 17 elixirs together if you use absolutely all of them okay if you use everything i've i've gave you it's like you're you're doing crypt or something i don't know in that case uh you still got place for the food which is gonna make it to 18 and uh you also got spot for the perfume which is gonna be like 19 and you only have to pop some scrolls uh if you want like exp scrolls or something like that so it's still pretty good like that so those this is how elixir rotations kind of work uh and again it elixir rotations work for human demi-human and uh camasilvia monsters only because of the extra damage they give from this like from a base spot there's no general damage um elixir like if you want to consider a general damage elixir uh you can just take uh, endless frenzy and endless fury but again you can't use those together anyway like they will override each other so endless frenzy if uh, you don't mind the dp debuff and endless fury if you do mind it but yeah this is pretty much how uh, elixirs goes uh i went into great detail about like how they work in general um the general idea for the elixir rotation is that the individual buffs are just higher so like here you got like um uh, first of all 11 uh extra damage to human but you got 15 back attack 15 critical heat damage so like in most of those other choices you just have like 10 extra special attack or like uh in this case uh, you have 12 right um while well, here only this one gives you 15 back attack and it also gives you two extra special so it's like 17 back attack in that case uh critical hit damage if we're looking on uh frenzy for example it has just 10 this one gives 15 so ultimately even though the human damage seems lower uh than with elixir of indignation right you are getting like higher other stats and compared to elixir of indignation you don't lose hp damage reduction and evasion so basically there's no that there's no detriment to those uh elixirs um you also uh get multiple buffs from different types of elixirs as well because like indignation does not have the regen on hit like frenzy does so you can just use the uh, recover hp on hit from grim soul reapers and from strong draining and you just now have like a an indignation uh, elixir that is better and it also has like regen so that's why people use elixir rotations and like if you check on garmoth uh, elixir rotation is generally better other than if you're not capped then simple cron with uh frenzy draught of corruption and with uh bracing spirit perfume or uh like perfume of courage or something is gonna just give you more like if i checked it and uh there's like the difference is not uh like huge but there's a great difference um like the, it's still like 20 percent or something so i mean i mean some people might say that's huge though so yeah 
This is how elixirs works. Uh, I gave you like an example of uh, like what a rotation you want to use. Uh, in every single video, I am gonna be giving every single like um, elixir uh, food buff and uh, perfume uh, that you need to use for the specific spot I'm talking. I will just not go into detail uh, about why and how and whatever anymore. And uh, this is just basically gonna be uh, the complete guide on how this works uh, from now on. Uh, I hope this video helped you guys um, kind of like figure out uh, what buffs to use and when. Uh, obviously, uh, if you're gonna use something like Elixir of the Deep Sea in a spot like say Dekia Tunkuta or something, uh, that's a spot where you make like over 1 billion. So if you're gonna use 70 million to buff up or more, uh, you're probably gonna be doing with like the extra damage you're dealing, you might reach more than 100 million extra money by just killing each pack individually faster. So uh, the higher you go and the, the better the spot is. Uh, elixirs like, like perfumes like uh, Elixir of the Deep Sea and uh, Perfume of Courage are gonna be uh, a lot more worthy than they are in like lower spots because like if if at orcs at best you do 800 mil if you're gonna spend 70 mil just to get 800 mil back that's just gonna be like you're you're just going even which is not really helping you at all so yeah that's something you need to take into account hope this video was helpful for uh, all of you um if you like the video, maybe you want to leave a like, maybe you want to subscribe and uh, write in the comments if you got any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.